<laughs> Alright guys, um, welcome back. This is the part two of the Big Chief um, Studios line of the and the last um, four Doctor Who figures that I have belonging to the Big Chief Studios line. Um, these ones here range from the Ninth Doctor released in um, 2016 and then um, these figures here that were released in various parts of 2017. Now I think um, these three being obscure characters um, depending on your preferences of doctors etc I think the problem here is these guys are the more recent figures um, they're probably the ones that people have seen around and because of a few of the issues that Big Chief Studios has experienced in the last couple of years, I think people saw um, people saw these and um, their reputation or comments of um, Big Chief Studios were received quite negatively. So we have, I think his name is Chris... Um, I think it's Chris Eccleston as the Ninth Doctor. Um, again, you can kind of see that they have used a pretty good paint app. Um, it definitely looks like him. I'm not really familiar with too many of his episodes. Um, I really didn't start watching um, Doctor Who until the David Tennant. Um, I, I'd seen a lot of the Tom Baker episodes um, that used to air uh as repeats in the afternoons, but um, that was really my extent. Like, I knew what Daleks were and Cybermen were and all that stuff. I knew all that, but um, I really didn't watch it week um, every week until the Tenet series. Um, so we have John Hurt. Now, what's interesting here is they went for a slightly different type of design look, and he has the more... Um, that more cartoony, softer looking face that I was talking about. Um, it's very similar to what the Sherlock figures have, um, where you can, where they, the paint app isn't as, it's not as realistic, um, I don't think. Just the skin, the color of the skin isn't as realistic looking as it is there. Um, but overall, you can definitely tell who it is. Um, then we have Rose Tyler, um, the actress just escaped my mind. Again, it's a pretty good likeness. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the expression. I don't think many people were, but, um, I, I, be, I believe it, it's, they pulled it from a specific scene, I think, um, and then we have Gina Coleman as Clara Oswald. Now, this is the figure. I, I think Clara is probably their most recent. Um, and I feel because it's the most recent, uh, a lot of people thought that it was probably the direction that Big Chief were going. And a lot of... Um, there were a fair few complaints about this figure, and I will um, talk about that as we move on. Um, again, these three figures were released in various points throughout 2017, um, and this one was released in 2016. Now, the manufacturer or the factory that manufactured these four figures are not doing any more. These, um, they're all being... Everything from that's coming out in the, in the next six to eight months from Big Chief Studios is going to be a completely different factory to producing everything we've seen today. And I'm going to kind of talk to you about, like, talk about and highlight the different points of um, quality. Like, just with the two female figures, you, you can kind of see that there is a different level of quality between them. And I um, will discuss that. So, starting with the um, starting with the ninth Doctor, we still get the we still get the cards that um, tell you this one had a slightly 
larger edition size of 1500. Um, I think what probably led to, and then it tells you on the bottom of the box, sorry, that that is number 351. Um, I think the issue is that Big Chief Studios um, picked up some work, like, it's, it's trying to get the brand out there, I guess. Um, like I said, they're based in the UK, they attend a lot of conventions in the UK. Um, outside of the UK, it's only really Sideshow that are picking them up. Um, pop culture in Australia is has picked up a few as well. Uh, but the prices, um, when you look at them, you, you do realise that being from the UK, um, they are priced higher than Hot Toys. And I will use some pricing examples um, very shortly once I go over these. Um, I'm trying to keep this video not as long as part one. So, we get this, which is fine. Now, Matt Smith, I said Matt Smith had a pretty solid body. This one here, um, you can kind of see that the arm does drop. Whether or not that was because their edition sized um, almost doubled, and so they were producing more, so there was a higher chance of QC um, errors or slight um, differences, I'm not sure. This arm here, I believe, isn't too bad. Again, the jacket, um, the jacket kind of hinders the articulation and it is a plevery material. Um, the shirt is a standard fabric shirt, it's fine, there's no real detailing on that. And the pants are that same material that all the others had. The shoes, again, we've got the, um, we've got the sculpted laces that's been painted and then the same light up display stand. Um, now this guy, the reason why I took the display stand out was because I could not actually get this guy to stand by himself. Um, and I not really had that issue with a big Chief Studios figure before, um, with the exception of, I think, the Sherlock figure. And that's because of the way I had him standing. I had the Sherlock figure standing with his hands in his pockets and it was very hard to balance it like that. Um, and again, no working pockets on this jacket inside or outside. So they took a slight step backwards in terms of the features of this figure. And this leg here, um, it's not as loose as I had on one of the Funbreds figures, but it, it's still not as tight or as strong as um, Matt Smith or um, any of the other Doctor figures that I showed in part one. Um, so I, I think because they were starting to get these small um, issues appearing every so often, I think that's why people were a little bit cautious. Now, um, just looking over at my notes. So this guy here, without the signature, um, just the standard version that you see here, and I'll go over the accessories shortly, he was 175 pounds before postage. Now to put that into perspective, that's $320 Australian, or $220 um, American before postage. Postage um, to Australia, I think, is about $30 Australian, so about maybe $10, $15, or maybe $15, $16 US, uh, thereabouts. Um, then the signature version was £20 during that. Now, the other thing to pay close attention to is, and I will actually show this right now, actually. Let's... Let's pop over to the Big Chief website. Because um, I'm going to show this off really quickly. Okay, so this is um, the new ones. Like I said, these are new. They come with the signature of these two actors. Um, I've not, I'm going to be honest, I have never seen this film. I need to get around to that. Um, so you can see that they carry... They are the sideshow of the UK. So they will carry all different um, items. And you can see... Um, there he is. Okay, let's find him. Okay, and it's going to come with the price. Now, a lot of people, and this is what I don't like as well, a lot of people see this price and they immediately go, okay. Um, and let's go to AUD. 383 Australian. People go, what? Excluding tax price. <clears throat> You want the excluding tax price, unless, of course, you are actually a UK customer. If you are outside of the UK, you do you pay this price here, 
and then they add the postage on top of that price. So it'll probably, if it was um, 20 US dollars, it would, like if it was um, 20 US dollars postage, they would give you that number and they do all the conversions and whatnot uh, at the checkout, I believe. Um, it's been, um, I've pre-ordered Parker and the 13th Doctor figure. There's the reissue of the David Tennant I was talking about. Um, so again, you have that price there and no signature this time around. So you pay the excluded tax price if you're outside of the UK. And again, yeah, like I said, he has a slightly different head sculpt and a slightly different suit. <clears throat> um, so that's it there. So as I said, these guys can be a little bit more expensive than Hot Toys. So when you do get the loose joints, it is a little bit of a letdown. Accessory wise though, um, this guy did actually come with a lot. Now, his hands are the same skin texture as the others, but they're not as pliable. Um, they've used a harder rubber this time around, so not as pliable. So we get these hands here. Um, there's his Sonic. Again, the paint app is just quite basic. Um, I'm not, I can't remember what this is, but I do remember seeing it um, in an episode. Um, a watch, I believe that's a, I think he uses it as a phone, I, I'm not too sure what the vial is, and then we get some more hands. So, um, then underneath, in the other tray, now, I can't remember if this was for him or not, I think he changed shirts, uh, whether he was going back or forward in time, um, Either that, or it's one of those builder pieces for the David Tennant that I mentioned before. The display stand would normally sit in there. Um, magic paper, which is just a complete reuse. Then we have this little guy. Um, an orb. This, um, again, I'm not a hundred. I'm not 100% sure what episodes these featured in, but I do uh, recall seeing them in bits and pieces. Then we have a key to the TARDIS. Um, so he came with a lot, which is fine. Um, again, he's not a terrible figure. I was just a little bit disappointed that um, when I was unboxing them, I forgot that he could not stand by himself, um, which was a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so John Hurt as the War Doctor. Now, this is um, from the 50th anniversary episode. Again, the tailoring is fantastic. Uh, we have a scarf. I'm not sure what's underneath the scarf. I'm not going to undo it to have a look. We get this waistcoat. Again, a proper chain. And then the overcoat, the pants. Now, what's interesting is his pants actually go over his shoes. I don't know if it was like that. Um, it probably was like that in the show. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done it. Um, one would think so. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the 50th anniversary episode, so I'm not too sure. Um, I don't think... No. Again, same with, um, same with this guy. They decided not to use, um, workable po um, working pockets. I don't know if that's because of the plever or not, um, or whether it was just a thing to cut corners um as i did say with the bond figures the bond figures themselves um do look phenomenal um i don't own any of them simply because i i have the the sideshow james bond and at the moment in australia it's um you can buy the three for a grand um and i was just hoping that maybe we might get them a little bit cheaper one day or something but it is what it is, um, and again, a lot of people aren't a fan of that almost cartoony looking paint, I guess, that lighter paint, but you can definitely tell who it's supposed to be. Um, there was no signature version for this guy, as unfortunately, um, he had already passed away. Um, he passed away just after they announced the figure, actually. Um, his card... Um, due to the fact that he was passed away, they did include his picture on it. Um, the War Doctor. 
and um, they went back to a thousand piece for this one, and he is number fifty three. So, um, yes, his accessories, um, not a real lot he could come with. Just moving the girls out of the way. Um, he comes with the device that the episode ooh, that the episode is um, based around. So there's some pretty cool detailing around this, all the um, different gears and everything. Um, his Sonic, again, a basic paint application there. Then we get these wrinkled hands. And I think, yes, they've gone back. They went back to the more... Um, pl ooh, focus. They went back to the more um, pliable hands there. But very good um, wrinkle-aged look there. You can definitely tell that they are his hands. Um, they are the hands of an old man. Just place that tray up there. We also get a rifle. Now, he was the first doctor to actually use um, a weapon in one of the flashbacks. Because he... Um, tells the story of why he actually did what he did. Um, now, his display stand is quite in different, um, and you can see that the protective layer there has started to, um, has pe peeled up on this one. Um, his display stand simply does have that doc Doctor Who, and I believe when you light it up, um, it actually lights the words BBC Doctor Who up. So, as the issue with doing things live, sometimes your phone just randomly closes the app. Don't know what went on there. Sorry. Um, as I was saying, um, yeah, this display stand here, um, it um, just lights up the words BBC Doctor Who, I believe. Um, there's no actual Gallifreyan language. Though on the website, they still say Gallifreyan display stand. Um, so I don't know if maybe when you turn the lights on, that fades away. However, I very much doubt it. I believe that it would simply just say Doctor Who. Um, I haven't lit this one up. Um, and just for the simple fact that, um, the story, you know the story, I moved, didn't unpack anything, we're moving again soon, so no point in doing all that. Um, so yeah, overall, he's a, quite a nice character to have, um, my, um, even though he only appeared, I believe he only appeared once, although they may have reused footage to CGI him into another episode, I think. Um, though he was, he was quite good. Um, my, my wife is a pretty big John Hurt fan, so, um, she said that getting this guy was a must. Um, and again, you can definitely tell who it is. The outfit is pretty well done, despite not having those working pockets. Um, yeah, so, and again, he stands, he does stand a lot better than the Eggleston figure did. All right, so, um, Rose Taylor. Now, another cool thing that Big TF Studios sometimes do is sometimes you just get stuff. Um, I've seen people post, uh, every so often that Sideshow give you things. Um, I actually got this. It wasn't included anywhere, um, in the order. And then I had a look, and um, at the it was added. Um, actually, Big Chief added it to my order themselves as like a thank you for ordering Rose Tyler. So um, Rose Tyler obviously spanned across multiple seasons, as did Clara. So she had um, two doctors <clears throat> to be companion to be a companion too, and they included this nice print of David Tennant. So, and it says the turn of the universe and it tells me who did it. And it tells me that it was an artwork piece from 2015. So probably just an older piece of artwork that they couldn't, um, that was struggling to sell. So they were like, yep, if someone orders Rose, we'll give it to them. So that was um, quite a nice inclusion because I think I looked it up and I think this was probably about 20, 20 or $30 uh, by itself. So that was a nice thing to get. All right, so the paint application on the hair is fine. Um, the hair is a plastic vinyl um, material. It is quite pliable. Yeah, it is quite pliable. Um, it does 
hinder the articulation, but if you move it to the side, the hair kind of, um, because it is so pliable, the hair kind of moves to allow you to do that. However, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it may actually eventually separate, ooh, separate the um, glue maybe. It's probably very doubtful that that would happen, but um, you never know of these things. Okay, so we have a zip. Now, I don't think the zip, it says that it's a functioning zip, but I never trust small zips, so I'm not going to attempt, but there is a purple shirt underneath the purple jacket. And we can see the lining of the purple jacket there as well. Again, non-functioning pockets on this one. Um, it probably is just a decision for all their pleather stuff. And the pants are a similar material to what we've seen with the doctors. And her shoes are just flat heels. And again, we have the painted, um, the sculpting painted laces. So articulation, um, much stronger body than the Eccleston figure. So the bodies went back to being tight, went back to being able to stand on their own. Um, that is fine. And the bottom of the jacket does a very good job of hiding the wrist pegs. And um, again, it definitely looks like the character it's supposed to. Um, we just have that expression on her face as if she's going to say something, which is, I guess it, it's fine. I said, I apparently when I was reading about it, they pulled it from a specific scene or something. Um, that, like I said, it, it's fine. Um, I just know that a fair few people weren't the biggest fan of it. And we can kind of see that it's, they've tried to go back to that realism of um, when we have a look there, you can see that there is a difference in the color of the skin tones there. Um, her skin tone is much closer to the Eccleston um, coloring. And again, she has absolutely no troubles standing on her own, which is awesome. Um, I think she does come with, and I'll show this off, she does come with a pretty weighty accessory. Um, so I imagine that if you were going to use that accessory, you would probably definitely need the display stand for that. All right. So we have the reuse of the key, um, and again, there's her card. Um, she actually has the instructions for the display stand um, on the back of her card. Um, so we get, yeah, so that's reused from the Eccleston figure, exactly the same um, TARDIS key. I think that's a phone. Again, the paint tap on it isn't that great. I think um, the paint applications on the accessories is, is probably the only real place where um, Big Chief fall down. Um, again, the fingers are pliable, but they're not as rubbery. Um, it's like an in-between. So it, it, it's, yeah, it, it's in-between the um, what we got previously. It's like a, a medium level of um, being able to apply it. Now her display stand uh, is Bad Wolf. And I believe that when you turn it on, th those are the words that light up. Um, again, I don't see it disappearing unless maybe the Gallifreyan letters appear around it. I, again, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't used this one or the War Doctor one. Um, and we get a large gun from one of the episodes. Um, and again, I, I reckon that you would probably need to use a display stand if you were having a holder. Now, what's other cool is, is this is what I was talking about. Um, sometimes you get an extra accessory under your tray. And in this case, it was David Tennant's um, dressing gown from the Build Your Own Pajama set that I was talking about. So I was lucky enough that even though I didn't pick this one up day one, it still uh, came with it, which was quite cool. Um, and again, I didn't get a, I, I didn't get a certificate for the art piece that was just thrown in there. Um, it wasn't packed in the figure or anything. It was actually in a separate envelope when I opened it. 
Um, now, what I will quickly do, because I neglected to do it before, um, in the last video, I talked about the... <clears throat> I talked about the fact that these lift off. Now, she comes with the, I think that's the Eccleston style TARDIS inside. Um, apologies if I got that completely wrong. Because I probably did. Um, it's either Tannen or Eccleston. I honestly can't remember. Um, the War Doctor actually comes with the barn where that device sits. Um, for um, one of their recent specials. And again, I, I know um, a lot of their newer stuff, I reckon will probably not get a chance to make any sales or anything. I reckon um, it'll all probably sell out if not come very close to selling out um, with the pre-orders, simply because the addition size of all the Big Chief stuff is halving. So he has the barn, and then Eccleston is actually, Eccleston's is actually the outside of the TARDIS, which is why I believe they left the inside of the TARDIS to Rose. Yeah, so you get that. I apologize, it's actually the inside, the inside of the TARDIS looking out. So she gets the other half of the room. Um, which is nice because they didn't actually do that previously. Um, and again, you can see that, that these backdrops are quite sturdy. All right, so as far as a female figure goes, the body is pretty tight and um, you can do all the possibilities. Now, the figure that people had the most issue with, um, I won't show the Clara box, her box, um, her backdrop is the exact same as Matt Smith's. Now, yes, this is the figure that a lot of people had the most issues with, um, for good reason. I'm not going to talk it up or say, um, it's amazing. Looking at the face. It's a mixture of being realistic and being cartoony. Um, it's kind of like, what I said, it's kind of like the middle ground, um, which is unfortunate. You can definitely tell, like looking from there, you can definitely tell that it's Gina Coleman. You can definitely tell it's supposed to be Gina Coleman. That's not the issue. The issue is it looks a bit cartoony. Now, what people didn't like about the first... The first ever, well, the second ever figure, which was Amy Pond. Amy Pond had extremely terrible rooted hair. Um, this hair, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Unfortunately, the hairstyle that Clara uses didn't really lend itself. And the factory decided to do her hair in two parts. You have... And you can see that the line down the middle of her hair doesn't even line up because of it. The part in her hair does not line up. Um, so we have this part here that is simply glued over the top of this. If they had simply changed her hairstyle or maybe asked Gina Coleman if they could use or... If they had done anything else besides this hairstyle, I feel like it would have worked. Um, I believe, do they state what episode this is from on the box? They might not. Sometimes they do, um, like the Doctor, they say that it's series one of the new series. Um, I don't think they do. I'll just pop over to her box. Nope, just says Clara Oswald. So, I'm assuming that this is probably, going from the backdrop, I'm going to go say that it's her Matt Smith season. Um, I think she changed her hair when she was with Capaldi. Um, but either way, if they had worked out any other way to do it, I think it would have worked. Because that, you can see that it's not level, the part in the hair doesn't match up, it is what it is. Furthermore, this dress 
you can feel it. It's a vinyl material. It's not a fabric dress. Why? I don't know. Um, her blazer is fabric. It's fine. And the coat, um, the overcoat is a fabric and she has a nice necklace there. Um, so again, I don't know why they did that. Um, Big Chief, there was a little bit of an apology. I don't know if they're going to reissue. I, I don't know if they're going to reissue um, this head sculpt or give people the opportunity to purchase another head sculpt. Um, when they did the new head sculpt with the sculpted hair for Amy Pond, it looked a lot better. Um, and they were quite fair. I think they only charged like £15 for it, if that. Um, it was quite a cheap head sculpt, <clears throat> given the fact that people had initially purchased it. However, I think the people that did actually initially purchase it got it for free, um, but you had to d purchase it directly from Big Chief. Now, I did not um, get this figure. This is the only one that I have not gotten directly from Big Chief Studios. Um, I got this one from Pop Culture in Australia because Pop Culture had a day where it was 20% off. So... I probably got it for about three... I probably got it for about 2 dollars ish um, I think. There's also that weird blemish in the top of the head sculpt. Um, they all have that. So... Yes, not the best figure, um, especially at the price point. And you can see as well that there is nothing to hide the wrist joints. Um, by no means is it like, by no means is it an absolutely terrible figure. Again, the body holds up um, and Amy Pond had the same problem here. Um, it's very similar to what we got with the Hot Toys Dancing Harley Quinn. Um, the bodies don't really lend themselves to stockings, and both Amy Pond and Clara had stockings. So you can kind of see the joints through the stocking, um, and it just looks weird. Um, but so this is probably by, f this is probably the worst Big Chief figure that they've done, but it is by no means terrible. Like the body doesn't flop. That's a solid. Um, and the accessories, she does come with a fair bit. So she comes with Matt Smith's Sonic. Um, these are accessories used in the Capaldi episodes, I believe. It's the Testament, the um, last Testament of the Doctor. It comes with an iPhone, a, is that a watch bracelet. It might be a watch. It's either a watch or a bracelet. Um, the open Matt Smith Sonic, they got separated in a lot of episodes. Um, and there were some episodes where she was just at the Sonic. Um, now her hands, they've gone back to the really pliable material. Um, and you can see that she has rings on both of her hands. However, I think this one... Oh no, it's there. I thought it was this. I thought the ring was painted the same colour as the hand. Um, so she has two different rings is fantastic um she has this book 101 places sorry to see so there's some nice detailing on that it doesn't um it's nothing like hot toys where you could close the book or anything but it's um sculpted property of clara oswald ages 10 11 12 or oh, age yep and it goes through how old she is. Um, we also get this, I think this is from the anniversary episode, perhaps, The History of the Time War. Um, I could be wrong which episode this appears in, but I feel like it was from the 50th. We get this pleather handbag. Um, unfortunately, you can feel how brittle this is going to be. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes in a high humidity environment, probably disintegrate. Um, display stand, and again, her display stand just has Doctor Who, so I imagine that that's what it would light up, light up as. And for some strange reason, um, there's that piece of fabric there, 
Um, I'm not actually sure what that is. It's a different texture to the to the um, handbag. So she does come with a lot. Um, but this is where people, and I do feel this with you guys as well, um, the Clara. So if you bought it directly from Big Chief Studios, and unfortunately all their sales have currently ended, so everything's back up to full price. Gen most things are back up to full price. Uh, however, okay, so she was... I'm actually just going to do it on the computer because I've lost my page for it. Um, so when you're going through the Big Chief Studio website, um, you can go... Oh, we're not going to go to my account. Um, shop collectibles, and then you can go by brand, and they tell you everything that they've had. There's the Thunderbirds, there's their James Bond, Flash Gordon is new, Doctor Who. So this shows you everything that is in stock currently. Um... He has not been released yet, I don't think. Let's have a look. Pre-order. Yeah, and you can see... So, there's the signature edition. £208 is the excluding price. And the limited edition, £229. Or £191 excluding. So... There you go. Um, now... The Eighth Doctor is actually one of the figures that have been delayed for a very long time, simply because, as I said, they were not happy with the Clara figure, they were not happy with the Thunderbird figures. Um, Big Chief did a whole apology um, spiel, and they replaced all the James Bond heads and everything, and a lot of retooling. So they changed factories. When they changed factories... They actually stated that everything that that factory had done was destroyed. All the prototypes that that factory had done, all the pieces that that factory had worked on were all destroyed. So that way they didn't have to pay them. Oh. They didn't have to um, uh, pay for any of their work, etc. in that instance. Um, and then that allowed the new factory to start fresh. I don't know why I clicked on him. That was the one I used before. Um, there she is, Clara. Now, this this figure was actually discounted um, until quite recently. So you can see that it was 208 for the signature edition. Wait, did I do that? Yes. Uh, Let's go US. <sighs> okay, so $263. If you, that's before postage, so let's say 285 US. If you got that for 285 US dollars, I could see why you would be a bit pissed at Big Chief Studios. Um, in fact, there is the, there it is there. There's the Australian price. Um, before postage, I generally, so 410, I'm just going to say 410 because the Thunderbirds are $30 postage, I remember that. So 410, if you paid $410 from Big Chief Studios for that hair and stuff, I understand why you'd be pissed, I'd be pissed. Um, I was a little, I was annoyed at $300 or whatever it was that I paid for this figure. Um, what made me a little bit happier was I was surprised when I got Rose and I got the art print. That kind of made up for it a little bit and what also helped was these two were bundled as a pair at one stage and you basically got um half off each or not quite half off each figure so i think all up i saved the price of a full figure between the three of these fig between the three of these figures i think i saved a full figure um with the amount that i saved so that was the saving grace and I understand why people would be pissed and why people are a little bit skeptical. However, the thing to take into account is the people that made this are never working on another Big Chief Studio figure ever again. It is a brand new factory with brand new staff with whatnot. The only people that are the same are the two owners of Big Chief Studios. And if we go back to Big Chief Studios, <clears throat> This is the reason why I think things are going to change. 
We go 13th Doctor. You can see that they've tried to stick to the... Ooh, they've tried to stick to the more realistic paint app this time around. The hair, for the most part, looks fantastic. You can see her earrings. The tailoring looks fine. The Sonic looks fine. Now, um... They reckon it's going to come out in November. If it does, that would be fantastic. If it doesn't, I'm fine. I've already um, gotten it. Now, what's interesting was mine was actually a lot cheaper than this because I got mine. I actually backed it. Um, and they haven't stated. I don't think they've stated the production level. Um, now, she comes with a lot. She comes with the Help Me Note, the Kablam Box, the Pating, the Psychic Paper, the Sonics. Um... And she also is coming with a second top. The second top is the... I don't think they've shown it off. I know they've shown it off on their Facebook page. Um, the gallery here doesn't have it, I don't think. Um, what's also interesting is, is that, yeah, you get two head sculpts with this figure as well. So two head sculpts plus her signature. A lot of people aren't happy about that, but her signature... Um, and I think, I need to get rid of the pound symbol. Yeah, so two, <laughs> we're getting up there with die cast Iron Man prices, I guess. Probably more expensive than die cast Iron Man. Not quite. Um, so almost 300 US dollars, two head sculpts, a fair few accessories, and a signature remembering is the signature of the actress. Now, from what I understand, Sideshow, among others, are not going to be carrying this piece because it's... When I signed up for it, and I will... Uh... <clears throat> I apologise for the internet being a bit slow... Um, so you can see that she was placed in April 14th. I don't know if... So, subtitle is pending. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. It, it uh, um... I'll get it up. Oh, the page didn't load properly. That's what it is. That's fine. Um, I thought I could view it, but apparently the order page is having a little bit of an issue. Um, loading, but, um, as I said, you get her signature among, among other things. Now, when I signed up for it, they said that it was going to be 250. I think that's how many pre-orders they got. They might stretch it out to 300, maybe, but I don't know. With the Parker... So yeah, um, they do offer pay. They do offer payment plans as well. Um, when they do this launchpad thing, and there's not currently one on launchpad, but when they do the launchpad, um, you get different options. Uh, if you pay in full, you get completely free postage, among other things. Um, I got a discount because I ordered within the first ten days of it going live, um, and it was the three. So. It's the, th the three payments of £72, because remember, we pay the excluded tax price. And then um, they will add the, they'll add the um, postage on later, which is usually about $30, $30 Australian. Um, that's all fine there. I'm going to see, so Parker. So Parker, I'm in the middle of payment planning. I don't know why he has three different prices. I think that may have been a deposit price. Um, but I have two payment plans remaining on him. And he is going to be a very low figure because he only had a hundred and... 
50 back people back him, I think. Um, and again, it comes with the signature. Um, and if you paid in full, you got an art book with it as well. So they do nice incentives. Um, yeah, so by all means, we've had a look at seven figures, all varying in different points of quality, some outstanding, some okay, and then one not complete and utter disaster, but one that definitely is the weakest of the series. Um, with this, from what I've seen, um, I reckon the Jodie Whittaker figure is going to have amazing joints, paint apps. We'll see how that goes being a new design team. Um, or I mean a new factory team, but, um, overall, I reckon it's the same with the Thunderbirds. The Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet have been delayed by two years, as has the eighth Doctor, um, and then Jodie, Parker, and the Flash Gordon figures are all very recent um, pre-orders. So, um, I would say definitely do not discount this company just yet. Um, I've seen that pop culture in Australia have put up the Flash Gordon figures. I don't know if Sideshow have just yet. They may have. But um, I do not believe that they will come with the signatures. They might, but I think only the ones pre-ordered directly from Big Chief will have the signatures. And I mean, if that's not a bother to you, that's fine. But if you're paying the same price from somewhere else, I would definitely get this. Whoops. I would definitely get the signature. Um, as said, these generally retail for 380 Australian from pop culture. Um, um, I got him a lot cheaper from Big Chief Studios. As said, I got the exclusive, I got the special edition item for her. Um, plus the art print, pop culture wouldn't have given you that. So, um, and this one was from pop culture. And as said, I didn't get any, um, extra item or any special edition item I wasn't expecting to. I believe she, when, if you ordered directly from Big Chief, she came with an extra item. Um, I'm not going to look up what that was just now because um, I'm pretty much at the point to conclude. But overall, they're a pretty solid line of figures. Um, and again, you saw that the Thunderbirds themselves being replicas of puppets were quite good as well. They just had those um, slightly weak bodies. The only figure to have a slightly weaker body here is Eccleston for whatever reason. Probably because they d tried to double their output or something. I don't know. Um, but overall, um, Big Chief do do some pretty great work. And it's a little bit like Asmus at the moment. Um, Asmus have some great figures. They have some good figures. And I know there are a couple that are just hated. Um, the only two, um, the only Asmus figure I really had a problem with was the Boromir because, um, of the sculpt. But, um, that's a completely different story. So, yeah, I say if you've been looking at what Sideshow have been putting up or if you've been looking at what's being advertised, definitely consider giving them a go. Um, I reckon this new change of that production factory will definitely be a good thing for Big Chief. Anyway, um, thank you for watching these.